Let's analyze a series circuit consisting of a power supply connected to two resistors connected end-to-end -end or in series. Resistor 1 with 560 ohms and resistor 2 with a value of 470 ohms and a power supply producing 27.809 volts DC direct current. Now we want to first find the total resistance of our circuit. The general formula for the resistances in a series circuit, resistance total equals R1 or the resistance of R1 plus R2 or the resistance of R2 plus whatever other resistors we have connected together give us the total resistance. So in this case we're talking about the values of the resistances we have here which is R1 plus R2 which is 560 for R1 plus 470 for R2 gives us 1030 ohms total resistance in this circuit. Now we'll use that value to help us find the current through the circuit. Recall that in a series circuit the current is the same in all parts. So if we find the current in one part we're going to find the current in all parts. The formula for current from Ohm's law is I equals V over R or I equals E over R. Remember that E and V are the same. We have both symbols here but they are the same. So this, this tells us that the current is a voltage divided by resistance. So in this case, what voltage are we talking about? Well, we are talking about, or we are referring to the total voltage, which would be the power supply voltage, and the total resistance, which we just calculated to be 1,030 ohms. So we then calculate that as 27.809 volts divided by 1,030 ohms gives us 0 0.026999 amperes. That's what our calculator would give us. However, uh, we really want our answer to be in milliampers. A uh, multimeter most typically will calculate the, or will measure in milliampers, not amperes. And uh, more often it's convenient to talk to measure in milliampers. So, and so we're going to convert it using our metric prefix here. We're going to go from amperes to milliampers. Recall that amperes has no straight amperes has no metric prefix. That's none, and that would be 10 to the zero power, or just one of them. And we're going to milli, which is 10 to the negative three, one thousandth, or 0 .001 of something. And so we're going from 10 to the 0 to 10 to the negative 3. We're going from a larger unit, no prefix, to the smaller unit, milli, amperes. That would be three places going to the right on our chart here. So we're going to move our decimal point three places to the right, starting where the decimal point is here. One, two, three places to the right. So that puts our decimal point between the 6 and the 9. We put it right here when we move it. So it becomes 26.99 milliampers. But we can just simply round that off to give us 27 milliampers. So that's our value of, re of our um, total our current flowing uh, through the circuit. And we can simply round that off to 27 milliampers. Because it's really not reasonable to have that level of precision. You know, it's very unlikely that a multimeter would be able to measure down to one millionth of an ampere, like this number seems to indicate here. Uh, it's more likely that it would measure down to the nearest fraction of a milliamp. So we'll round it off to 27 point or 27 milliampers or 27.0 milliampers would be also the same. Now because uh, the uh, current in this circuit is the same because it's a series circuit that same value is the the value of, of our current flowing through resistor 1 and it's also 
the same current that's flowing through resistor 2. So we don't need to recalculate our currents for our series circuit. They're all the same. The, the current through flowing through resistor 1 is going to be the same as the current through resistor 2 because there's only one path around our series circuit. Okay, next we need to find voltages. We want to find the voltage across R1 and the voltage across R2. We already have one voltage. That's the voltage of the power supply. That would be considered to be VT. We could, uh, we could write that as, um, we could say that the voltage total is uh, equal to, um, maybe a better good smaller number here, font. So, <clears throat> there we go. Our voltage total, we could say, is equal to uh, 27.809 volts. That is the voltage of the power supply. They often call that the, the voltage total. But we want the voltage across R1. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that we are going to um, measure the voltage or calculate what the voltage would be if we measured it across R1. Now to illustrate that let me connect up a voltmeter here, a voltmeter symbol at least, across R1. It would look like if I connected my voltmeter, a multimeter across R1, the way it would be connected would be to connect the positive side or the red lead to the more positive side of of the voltmeter and the negative side of R1 to the of the voltmeter to the negative side of R1 which would be the side of R1 closest to the negative connection on the power supply and uh, again let's uh, let's hook up the other voltmeter across R2 if we were going to connect up a voltmeter we would uh, similarly connect it and we put the red lead or the more po positive lead to the more positive side of R2 and the black lead would connect to the more negative side of R2 like that. Now um, how do we calculate that? Well again using Ohm's law, our formula for Ohm's law, we get that back from our memory aid, formula is the voltage, if we cover up V, is I times R, or I, R, V equals I, R. So which uh, voltage are we talking about? Well, we're talking, or which current are we talking about? We're talking about the current through R1, and we're talking about the resistance of R1. So we would express that as I, R, 1 times R1. In other words, the current through uh, R1 times the resistance of R1 and in this case that's 27 milliampers times 560 ohms. And that would give us a value of 15.12 volts. Now I want to, no I want to notice something here that if we take our calculator and we multiply whoops, get my calculator back if I multiply 27 milliampers times 560, we get 15,120. Well, that's a thousand times too big. So what do we do wrong? Well, we entered 27 as our current. That would be 27 amperes. That's what the calculator would interpret it as. And that's what Ohm's law. Ohm's law works with volts, ohms, and amps. So we need to make sure that if we're, if we're talking about milliampers, we enter that into our calculator as milli. So the way we do that is we type in 27 times 10 to the negative 3. Uh, so it would be 27e to the minus 3. Remember that, uh, that milli is 10 to the negative 3 here. So we want to enter that into our calculator and let the calculator do the work for us. So there's our current in 27, as 27 milliampers. We multiply that by 560 and this time we get the right value of voltage. Instead of being 15,120 it's 15.12 volts. And then we do the same thing for our um, 
resistor number two and that would be the current through resistor number two multiplied by the resistance of resistor two which is 27 milliamps times 470 ohms gives us 12.69 volts again you want to make sure you enter the the value correctly into your calculator that you don't uh, make that mistake so you'd go 27 exponent or ent exponent entry and then you press the sign key negative 3 multiplied by 470 by the way use that sign key to enter your exponent don't use the if you're entering a negative exponent don't use the subtraction button it's not the same thing so okay 12.69 volts for our voltages now notice if I take those two voltages and I add them together here uh, what we would be doing is the uh, fact that a series circuit uh, if you add up the voltages they give you the total voltage in other words if I take 15.12 and add it to 12.69 I'll get 27.81 volts which is the voltage of the power supply rounded off there a bit because of the calculator but yeah that's the power supply voltage next we have power uh, memory aid for power is the word pi and uh, I can draw it as a triangle or a circle circle works good because it looks like a pi doesn't it but uh, you would co cover up P here and that gives you IE or just remember pi P equals IE that's the formula for power and uh, we want to find the individual powers of the resistances so um, in this case that would be the current through resistor 1 which is the same as all the other currents multiplied by the voltage of resistor 1 gives us 27 times 15.12 volts that would be the voltage across R1 equals 0.4824 watts and if we wanted to convert that to milliwatts we'd simply move the decimal point three places to the right and if we did that we would get 408 milliwatts so it would be the same as uh, that wattage there and again doing the same sort of thing for our power of resistor number two we would multiply the current through resistor two by the voltage across resistor 2 and that would give us point three four two watts and that's equal to three hundred and forty three milliwatts when you move the decimal point three places to the right to convert from watts to milliwatts now to find the total power we could use the same formula as before or we could simply add those powers together because in a any circuit actually not just series circuit but any circuit the total power is the individual powers added together so in this case uh, we'd be talking about the power of R1 added to the power of R2 which is 408 milliwatts plus 343 milliwatts gives us 751 milliwatts and so there we have we have calculated the all the resistances currents voltages and powers in our circuit so we're done